Today, I'm going to be showcasing my Zodiac deck profile for January 2022. Before I do, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so that we can get to a thousand subscribers on this channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. We start out with 3 Zodiac Thoroughblade, a very powerful card that lets you discard one of its own kind, a Zodiac monster, in order to draw a card from your deck. That way you can get into more pieces and more different uh, protection stuff, control cards, as you possibly can during the duel. Next up, we have Zodiac Whiptail. This basically just makes it so that if it's attached to a Zodiac um, Exceeds monster, whatever monster does battle with it is damaged at the end. And it's good for that extra damage if you have it in your hand because you can attach it to the monster that you're attacking with. Really great card. Next up we have Zodiac Ram Ram. This one is also, you know, all these Zodiac monsters are actually really, really great, insane cards. 2000 defense is nothing to scoff at. And it, uh, when it's destroyed, you can special summon out another Zodiac monster from your graveyard. Next we have Rap here. That's basically just there for a name. It used to be the best Zodiac monster, but now unfortunately since it's limited to one, it's not that great anymore. And finally, Bunny Blast again. For me, I kind of just have it in there to have an extra name in the deck. Uh, and that, that's all there is to it. From here, we move on from the Zodiac Engine. We have Dino Wrestler Pinkatrops. And then the two hand traps that we play in the deck are Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. That's it for the monsters. Ash Blossom is basically uh, self-explanatory and Pagatrops is just there for that little bit of a control aspect that the deck has in order to um, get rid of certain pieces on your opponent's board. Next up, we're moving on to the spell cards. Right here, we have three Pot of Desires. I know a lot of people say you need to run it at two, I don't really believe that. I mean, even if you draw into a Desires, that's a Desires that you can use on the following turn. That's just the way that I see it. Sure, you might want to see some other stuff in your hand or whatever, but it is what it is. And if the, the duel progresses further like that, go ahead. Use it in the next turn. Um, next up, we have three Forbidden Chalice. Really great card. It negates the effects of a of a monster and gives it 400 attack. So it gives you that little bit of attack. Might be what you need for game. Could stop your opponent from popping one of your monsters or something with an effect. Like, I don't know. It just comes up a lot. Next up, because this is a going second deck, we're running three Dark Ruler No More. Very powerful card. Turns off all the effects on your opponent's side of the field. Just outstanding for going second next up we have cosmic cyclone against all these back row decks and stuff like that you don't want to get you know negated with imperm while you're trying to attack with your uh, borbo you don't you just don't want to deal with any of that mess um next we have three cross out designator because we do run ash blossom and joyous spring also spoiler alert we run infinite impermanence in this deck um, it's just a really decent card. Sometimes it comes up as a brick or something, but that's why I only run two. You don't want to see it all the time. Next up, we have two Sky Striker Mecha Eagle Booster to protect our Zeus while it's in the extra monster zone. We have one engage to search out the Eagle Booster or the Widow Anchor. And if you have three spells, which we run a lot of spells in the deck, you can draw a card as well. Next, or and Widow Anchor's there just, you know, for that little extra damage if you can take control of your opponent's monster, you know, just, it helps out a lot. And then Called by the Grave, we're on to our one ofs. We have the Monster Reborn, the Ten Key to Search Out of Zodiac Monster, the Harpy's Feather Duster, and the Upstart Goblin. Finally, our traps. We have three Infinite Impermanents 
to round off the whole deck. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the extra deck and see what we run. So I'm currently only running 14 cards in the extra deck. The reason for that is just because I don't currently have a third Tiger Mortar, but I mean, it is what it is. So I have three, Double A Zeus, the Sky Thunder, very powerful card. A lot of these cards in this deck are actually uh, mismatched. So I have an Ultra and two Secrets. Don't complain about it. Uh, we also have two Zodiac Hammer Kong, just basically a name to get under Borbo. Or I mean, it can protect if your Zodiac monster is left on the field for a turn or something, you know. It comes up, things like that do come up. Uh, we are also running three Zodiac Chalk and Nine basically brings back a Zodiac monster from the graveyard. So you'll have your Hammer Kong in the grave, detach one, summon out Hammer Kong, bring out your Tiger Mortar and attach one to Hammer Kong. It'll protect your Zodiac monsters for a turn, stuff like that. Uh, so we only have the two Tiger Mortar. We should have a third. It'll be coming in soon. And then we have three Zodiac Borbo. I mean, this is the chef's kiss of the deck. You attack your opponent directly, go into a Zeus. What are they going to do about it? Finally, we have Drill Driver Vespinato. Amazing card, just awesome. I really enjoy it. But that's it for the deck, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content like this, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out.